What's going on? Thanks for checking in. Today we have a very important video for you. We're going to talk about the number one recovery tactic that all baseball players should be using in their training. So this is one you're not going to want to miss. People throw recovery around like crazy, but this is true recovery. So make sure you stay tuned. Check this one out. So the D-low today, we're going to get pretty specific on how we've been structuring our upper lifts. All we're going to do is you got to be disciplined with this and don't push the envelope. Right, we're gonna go work at 50 to 60% of what we would typically use, so lightweight. Okay, and we're gonna do a bench press three times. First set, we'll go eight, second set, 10, and then the last set, let's hit 12. Lightweight, 50 to 60%, just go through the movement here. Think of it as active recovery, okay? Then you're gonna pair by three, by eight to 12 on a single arm lat pull down. Okay, small group, you guys can go overhand grip, double arm. Okay, use the uh, big bar. Hit it, nothing crazy here. Use the first set as a warm up and get it. So Bobby, you bench press what, 405? So there you go, divide by two. So the number one, the golden recovery tactic we're gonna go over today is deload, adding a deload week into your training. I get it, you know, if you're a savage, if you wanna keep going, pushing the envelope week by week, getting after it, the last thing you wanna hear is, hey, we're gonna take a break this week. We're gonna do a deload week. But trust me, it's unbelievably important to break through those plateaus, give yourself proper recovery to make more adaptations through the remainder of a program. So when a person goes ahead and hits a plateau, say your bench is staying the same, your squat's staying the same, your split squat, whatever it may be, Odds are you need to add a deload weekend to reset the nervous system for the remainder of the program. It's almost like a cheat code. And in here, we train very hard. When we wanna add a deload in is anywhere from four to eight weeks. My golden number typically in the past has been at that six week mark. We go six weeks on, then a deload week. Six weeks on, then a deload week. So what deload actually is, is a strategically planned reduction in training intensity and volume. This is designed to facilitate recovery and enhance performance down the road. This approach allows athletes to back off from their usual high intensity workouts, focusing instead on your lower weights, fewer sets, and reduce your overall training volume. So the five biggest factors of deload is one, it prevents overtraining, it enhances recovery, reduces the athlete's risk of injury, gives the athlete a good mental reset, and then it boosts performance. After a deload week, athletes often experience improvements in performance metrics due to that recovery and physiology adaptations that occur during that deload period. You gotta remember that the body adapts during the recovery phase. So you're giving it a complete week. You're giving your nervous system a complete week to recover so that following week back, you should be in a proper program, the strongest you've been you know, throughout that off season. So today we're gonna dive into what a full deload training session looks like with our athletes in here. So with DLO, we don't need to get crazy. We don't need to get too scientific here. This is a typical upper body split, what it would look like, you know, for that on six week period, right? All we're doing with deload, like I said, is we're just gonna bring the intensity down. We're gonna use lighter weight, do fewer sets, and just go through the movements and give these guys a good active recovery week. So as you can see, we could do the same movement prep. We can do the same primer. Power, I wanna go a little less intensity here, so we're gonna switch it up from a uh, ISO med ball hold uh, to a Donaldson. Instead, we're gonna do an overhead bottom up series. Then for strength, we're gonna keep it the same. We're gonna do a vertical press, or we're gonna do a horizontal press into a vertical pull. But instead of our typical high intensity, low volume at like five by fives, five by fours, five by threes, all we're gonna do is cut the sets. We're gonna go three by eight to 12. Again, the strength on a normal week, we're gonna try to push the envelope at 80 to 90%. Here on a deload week, we want that gold number to be around 50% to 60% intensity. Again, just going through the movement, getting that active recovery in. We're still gonna do a vertical pull down, so a single arm pull down, again, at that three to eight to 12. 
then the accessory block can stay the same. We're just gonna go lighter weights there. But the volume can kind of stay a little bit higher there. So a week of this matching what we typically do with lower intensity, lower volumes, is gonna reset that nervous system for these guys. So next week, when we test our three rep maxes, they should be the strongest they've ever been on their lift. Hey, Z-Press, easy money, sit on the uh, ground. Sit on the ground for the Z-Press, lightweight, 12 to 15 reps, high volume. Low row, just go dumbbell, low row, single arm, 12 to 15. And then uh, rear delt raise, use the change plate, the tent, tuck the chin, thumbs out. Burn it out, go two to three rounds there. So three, three. Yeah. Bobby's gonna do five. Bobby's gonna come back tomorrow and do this workout again. Yeah, tuck your chin though, hinge, thumbs up, straight arms. Go straight arms, yeah. You can hinge a little more. to finish it off easy money we're gonna go dead hangs 10 breaths banded pec 10 breaths and then just sit in a t-spine like a book opener just uh, leg up and over and just sit there for 10 breaths each side and at the end you guys can hit some arm farm if you want okay good can't teach hard work can't <laughs> couldn't hear you damn bro they didn't even hear you hey that's a wrap thanks for tuning in listen Hopefully you didn't think that was boring, you know, a deload week, but you got to do it. I'm telling you, that's one of the best things you could possibly do to recover your nervous system and build better adaptation throughout a program. If you're hitting a plateau, right, if weights aren't going up, that's a good sign you might need a deload week because that next week after, I promise you, you're going to be the strongest you've been during that off season. If you want to use the same training methods that these elite players use in here, click the link in the description, start our Summers Method Plus app for a week free trial. You got to hit that link in the description to get that week for free. And always remember we're pumping out weekly content on this channel, so do us a favor and subscribe for us. Appreciate you. Catch you next week. Game Rewards are grind. It knows how much you've invested.